betrayal. Tunubu is finally prepared to remove Shatima as his vice president. Siwu is bringing in as his replacement. Jackson Ude revealed. What is this, my people? What is this? What is this? What are we hearing? I greet everybody listening to this very broadcast this very day. It's a pleasure reaching out to you once again. Thank you for giving us your listening ear and also thank you for giving us the opportunity. Um, Bola Ahmed to the they look back if we won't take any action. And uh, I tell you, um, this has always been his biggest um, mistakes uh in life oh 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 kilon shelle my people <laughs> i beg if you know so you be new person for this very channel make you click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to this very channel so that each time we upload any new any new news you will be updated let's go straight to the content this is today's news Recent disclosure by Mr. Jackson Udi, a former aide to the ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, and an independent journalist, have ignited a political issue and firestorm within the inner sanctum of power, as influential figure allegedly maneuvered to orchestrate the replacement of Vice President Kashim Shatima with Rabiu. Musa Kwan Kwan so in the upcoming 2027 presidential election. The intricate machination behind this purported substitution purportedly revolve around the hosting of Abdullahi Ganduje from his role as the acting chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. This calculated maneuver aims to clear the path for Kwan Kwan Su to utilize his clout to dismantle the structure of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, and seamlessly transition into the APC fold. Adding momentum to these speculations, Kwan Kwan Su is reportedly under consideration for a ministerial appointment in an impending cabinet reshuffle, anticipated to take place around May or June 2024. Should these strategies come to fruition, Kwan Kwan so is anticipated to reclaim his former position as the Minister of Defense, laying the groundwork for his eventual elevation as the Vice Presidential nominee in 2027. Insider within the presidency purportedly divulged that Kwan Kwan So's candidacy is strategically designed to garner broader support from the northern region, particularly the northwest, which holds substantial electoral sway. These speculations gain gather further transactions with reports suggesting that Kun Kwan Su is currently being considered for a ministerial role in an impending cabinet reshuffle slated for May or June 2024. Hmm. It don't happen again, my people. Well, as it is right now, I will tell you that um, it is uh, it is Tsunubu that is actually making what is happening to be happening. Yes, if you ask me, that's what I will say. Because these people, I know, they are on their own. Tunubu went to meet them and pick them up. Is he not the one that picked uh, uh, Shatima? So why the sudden change of mind? And do you think Shatima is going to agree? Hmm? Tunubu wants to bring war, war into, into APC. Okay, um, my people, I'm throwing this to you now. Let me hear from you and also to know what your take and what your opinion on what has just been revealed right away. Maybe it is a pleasure. Don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated. Each time we upload any new video,